We are given the set S with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Part A, how many subsets are there of cardinality 5? The number of subsets of a set of size n, each with cardinality k, is equal to n choose k. Which means in our case, because we're looking for the number of subsets with cardinality 5 of set S, where set S has 8 elements, the number of subsets is 8 choose 5. Let's evaluate this by hand below. Notice for 8 choose 5, n is equal to 8, n k is equal to 5, and n choose k is equal to n factorial divided by the product of n minus k factorial and k factorial, which gives us 8 factorial divided by the product of 8 minus 5 factorial and 5 factorial. Simplifying, we have 8 factorial divided by the product of 3 factorial and 5 factorial. And now we'll go and expand 8 factorial until we reach 5 factorial. 8 factorial is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times the remaining factors are equal to 5 factorial divided by, notice how the 5 factorial is going to simplify out. Let's go and expand 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. And again, we still have times 5 factorial. And now simplifying, 5 factorial divided by itself simplifies to 1. In the denominator, 3 times 2 is 6, which simplifies to 1. And the 6 in the numerator also simplifies to 1, leaving us with 8 times 7, which is 56. So 8 choose 5 is equal to 56, which indicates the number of subsets of cardinality 5 is 56. For B, how many subsets of cardinality 5 have the set with 2, 3, and 5 as subsets? So the form of all these subsets would be in the form where each subset has the elements of 2, 3, and 5 in it. And because the cardinality must be 5, there are two remaining elements, which must be chosen from the remaining elements in set S. So because we know the elements of 2, 3, and 5 must be chosen. That leaves us with five remaining elements in which to choose the two remaining elements. So if we want to, we can think of this as two events, where the first event is selecting or choosing the 2, 3, and 5 from the 2, 3, and 5. This can be done in three choose three ways. And then we have times. The remaining two elements must be chosen from the remaining five elements in set S which can be done in five choose two ways. And of course, three choose three is equal to one. And let's go and evaluate five choose two, which is equal to five factorial divided by the product of five minus two factorial and two factorial. Simplifying, we have five factorial divided by the product of three factorial and two factorial which is equal to five times four times three factorial divided by three factorial times two factorial, which is equal to two times one. Simplifying, three factorial divided by itself simplifies to one. Four and two share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. We're left with five times two, which is equal to 10. So for B, the number of subsets of cardinality five that have the set with two, three, and five as subsets is equal to just five choose two, since three choose three is equal to one, which we now know is equal to 10. For part C, how many subsets of cardinality five contain at least one odd number? This one's not as challenging as it might look. Notice that set S contains four even elements and four odd elements, which means if each subset must have five elements, one of the elements in the subset must be an odd, and therefore the number of subsets of cardinality five that contain at least one odd is just eight choose five, which we already know is equal to 56. Again, because there's only four evens in set S, if every subset must have five elements, that means each subset must have at least one odd. For part D, how many subsets of cardinality five contain exactly one even? So let's outline the form of each subset below. 
where again each subset must have exactly one even, which means the remaining four elements must be odd. So we can think of this as two events, where first, where first we determine how many ways we can select an even from set S. Well, there are four even elements in S, and therefore we can select, and therefore we can select an even four ways, or four choose one ways. And then the second event would be the number of ways we can choose four odds. Well, there are only four odds in set S, and therefore we can choose four odds from four elements in just one way, or four choose four ways. Four choose one is equal to four. Four choose four is equal to one, giving us four times one, which is equal to four. There are exactly four subsets of cardinality five that contain exactly one even. I hope you found this helpful.